Okay, we just got back from Northern Michigan and I'm gonna get some work done uh, because it's like 4 p.m. and I have energy, I can do stuff, but I wanna show you these right here. So this, you guys were asking about the batteries I bought for the watches. Here's some of the ones I gotta replace the uh, batteries out of. These, they come in, I bought them off of eBay. Um, they mail like this, so there's no tracking on this, which is kind of annoying. So I have to go through, open up every single package, and then see if it got delivered. I can't just like check the tracking history on the eBay purchase listing. Uh, kind of annoying that's how they do this. I guess it saves money. It says right here, ship for a buck sixteen, so that's cheaper than shipping for obviously, you know, um, three nineteen or whatever it costs for the lowest amount to ship with tracking USPS first class mail. So we're gonna go through that. I think I'm going to set a goal for myself this week to list 175 items on eBay. That's 25 a day, seven days a week. Um, I think it's kind of low, honestly, but I've never, or at least not in a long time, have I made like an accountability chart for myself. So I think I saw Hustlin' Hooks do this, where you just put down at the end of the day uh, how many listings you made that day. So I, I mean, like I said, it's 25 a day. I'm going to go for that. It's, it should be pretty easy to do. Um, I think after this first week, I'll ramp up the, um, the difficulty level. But if you want to do it with me and have your own accountability week, let's do it. Uh, I'm going to go through the watches now, show you just like the basic, whatever it's called, changing of the battery, replacing the battery. Um, and then we'll see what else we have in store. Here's the batteries all out of the case. So I've got AG zeros, AG seven. You see the numbers on them. There's different different uh, prefixes. And what's kind of annoying is like, these are AG zeros. Well on the back, AG zero is also LR521, LR63, 379SR521W. Uh, so unfortunately, I think I'm just gonna have to get used to all these different names for the batteries. Like this right here, this is a Renata 377. And the Renata 377 is equivalent to <laughs> maybe none of these. LR, an AG4, LR626. So I might not even have that yet. They haven't all been delivered. Um, I'm still waiting on some. But that's what it's gonna have to be. It's just like trial and error. Here's a different one. This is uh, three, seven, same thing. So both 377s, amazingly, the one, the two I have open, <laughs> I don't have. Um, but I'm still going to just keep chugging along because I know for a fact that some of these right here, I purchased the watches I have in these bags. I purchased the batteries based on what these watches need. So all of these are going to be um, for some of these watches right here. All right, we got our first success. This is a Nike a or WG81-4000. It says back there. Uh, took a uh, an AG7 battery, that one right there, and it looks like it's uh, selling for around 25 bucks. There's two for sale right now at uh, 100 bucks. I think probably this is maybe the better price range in the 30 30 to 40 dollar range, plus shipping. New battery it works totally fine, and it's I'd say it's in pretty good condition. If you're curious how much I paid for these batteries. The most I paid for any battery was a quarter. All of them were less than a quarter with the exception of, uh, I think the, no, these batteries. These were a quarter a piece and I'm not sure why. Maybe they're better. Second success, I think they're all gonna work. So I'll probably just show you like when I'm done, but this one's kind of cool too. A Swatch Swish, a Swiss AG 2006. Uh, clear back it took uh, one of the expensive <laughs> relatively expensive batteries 329 also Swiss made maybe that's why they're more expensive and it looks like I can probably get about 30 bucks for this that's that's a very similar model that one right there sold for three dollars and seventy cents plus twenty six dollars shipping so I think probably around twenty five dollars is this one's value one little tip as I'm going through these uh, don't use sealable bags to sort your watches. Use bags that are resealable. Um, it's, it was a bad idea, and I'm, I'm worried that I'm, when I, as I take these watches out, and I realize I don't have the right battery for it, uh, I'm worried I'm going to lose some parts. On these, the worry's not so big because there's no screws. 
But unlike a lot of the Timex watches, there's screws. Uh, and a lot of moving in and out of bags is bad for that. So here's a tip <laughs> for sealable bags. Here's something really cool. So I'm just about done. I've spent about an hour and a half and I've probably changed the battery on 20 watches. I don't know. Um, I'll count in a second. But this watch was the last one I was going to do. It's about 6 o'clock right now. And look at the back. That's there, There's no battery there. <laughs> this is an old vintage Timex um, wind-up watch. So you, I guess you wind it up and it tells time that way. The dial's made in England. Uh, I, I looked it up. And it goes for about uh, $65 on eBay, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to look it up again right now. Vintage Timex Wind Up England. We'll see if those keywords get the job done. Uh, not really. But I, I used Google Lens to find one. And I found the same exact watch. And it was listed for $65. Uh, and that was shipping from the UK. So maybe this watch, if it's, if it works, you know, who knows if it works. I, it's just kind of cool to look at. Like it's obviously a winding mechanism. It says Mexico and then it says, uh, something jewels. I don't totally know. unadjusted so it's kind of dirty I'll clean it up and uh, probably tomorrow in the video we'll have a we'll have an idea of what it's worth all right the watch has been wound it's set to the right time 6 18 p.m. Uh, we'll check in tomorrow to see if it holds time or keeps time or I'm sure those are just kind of synonymous right okay I just listed all these what I took pictures of them rather I didn't list them yet uh, one two three four five six probably like 15, 20 watches. So I put them all in this box, put them on this white piece of paper, took a picture in my hand showing the face and everything. I measured how wide the face is using these uh, digital calipers right here. I got them for like 15 bucks on Amazon a few years ago. Um, they're good for measuring small things like jewelry or watches. And now we're gonna load them all onto, onto uh, my computer and list them all. And I'm storing them in this box right here. And this is box number 47. And it'll just go on some of the, you know, like a little excess space right there, it looks like. We'll just do that. Um, because I tried putting this box inside one of those larger boxes. And it just wasn't very easy to get it in and out. Because I was selling a lot more watches than I was books in the, in the box. Okay, so we snuck in a little bit of work after the vacation day. Uh, 25 listings. Packed an order. Um changed the battery on 21 watches and did my battery check off for about 15 or 25 other ones. And that's all in just a few hours. So a good way to get a head start on the week, even though it's already Monday, it's the first day of the week for me because <laughs> I was gone since Friday. Huh, okay. Thank you for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. If you're not new, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you're doing this week because let's all be accountable for each other. You know, if you want to, whatever you're doing, it can be anything. Just say what you're going to do, set a daily goal, uh, and then watch these videos every day because I'm going to hit my goal, and I want you to hit your goal too. I'll see you later, tomorrow.